Um, so, you know, here's the definition of a weed. It's just uh, a, a native or a non-native plant that's not valued in the place where it's growing. Um, but there's also things that are kind of noxious weeds and nasty weeds that are threats to agriculture and ecosystems. This over here is in my yard all over the place. It's black swallow wart. It's also called dog swallowing vine, just to give you um, <laughs> an understanding of how naughty it is. Um, it does have some cousins um, which are useful in traditional Chinese medicine, but this one I understand has some toxicity, so I don't eat that. But this is just kind of, you know, exhibit A. Not everything you should eat, right? So you got to know what you're what you're How up you get for. Rid of it? What's that? How do you, oh, tell me. Uh, <laughs> so uh, basically, if it's in this um, uh, phase of life, these are all seed pods. You want to get them before they seed, you know, and um, dig under them. There's like a short um, little set of ribbon um, uh, roots, but then there's also a deeper um, uh, root line. So you just got to dig under there and keep killing them every two to three weeks until they're truly dead. I don't know. Um, why weeds? Again, um, it's an organic method of weed control. Uh, they're so full of flavor. They're super fresh. I mean, you're not going to find them at the grocery store after they've been on a truck for two weeks, right? You're going to get them out of your garden. You're going to put them in your soup pot. Hello. Um, they're cheap as anything. If you have a crop failure, like what if, you know, the slugs get to all your lettuce, you know? What if you plant, accidentally plant your beet seeds too deeply? You know, things like that. Weeds are there for you. Um, there's this idea of dietary diversity, right? Like you don't eat the same thing over and over again because you're not going to get all the nutrition that you need. So um, weeds really help with that. And then it's wild foods. So in terms of the energetics of weeds, they're, they're really positive. And I think knowing what's growing in your land deepens your connection to nature. So whether you decide you're going to eat weeds or you decide you're not going to eat weeds, you at least know, you know what you're looking at and you know yeah, I, you know, if, if, if times were bad, I could go there. <laughs> okay. So um, here's to the flavor, right? Um, there is this um, understanding in traditional Chinese medicine, which I'm not a practitioner of, but I've, I, I've read a little bit, of um, uh, for full health, you need to experience all five flavors um, during the course of your eating. So that's bitter, sweet, pungent, salty, and sour. Um, and then there's this specific theory about herbs, which is this herbs flavor wheel, that um, depending on the taste of the different plants, um, you have different medicinal benefits. So it you know, kind of goes out to these cold, dry, stimulates um, you know, antimicrobial and things like that. And there are specific herbs around this wheel as examples. Um, bitter, so many, many weeds and herbs are bitter. And that um, does stimulate the digestive system. Um, sweet can be soothing, like comfrey or marshmallow. Um, pungent, like wild garlic, wild onion, uh, a little stimulating. Um, salty, nettles um, and violets, not salty, salty like a seaweed, but they have a little salty, um, high mineral content. Um, and so they can be strengthening because of their mineral content. And then sour, let's see what's going on here. Um, sour is uh, berries and rose hips and sorrels and things like that, and those have antioxidant properties. Really? So they have some is healing. That available online? I can't read it. Yeah, yeah. So it is available on wine. If you look at um, Taste of Herb Flavors, if you Google that, you can find that. And also, um, uh, I have um, a sheet so that you can sign in, and I'll, I'll send you the slides, you know, if anybody wants the slides. Thank you. So there you go for that. And I won't sell your name or anything like that. You know. OK. So the rules. The, like the number one takeaway rule, don't eat what you don't know. <laughs> right? You got to know, you got to know what you're eating. So there's, um, in terms of books, I have a, oh, thank you. Yeah, you could pass that around if you like. Um, you know, I, I, there's plant identification books, um, there's herb walks, um, there's all kinds of things where you can understand more closely what you're, what you're looking at and, and do you want to eat that. Um, you also, also want to sample first just because it's healthful and somebody else likes it and enjoys it doesn't mean your body will, right? Because these are kind of potent weedy things, right? Um, the third is 
probably a lot of these, they're not, they don't taste like lettuce. They're going to taste a little bit more powerful, right? So you don't want to eat, I'm going to sit down and eat a whole bowl full of purslane, you know, something like that. You want to, right? Oh, I know. I, I can't eat purslane. Um, you, you want to just have it as a flavor, as a garnish, as an inclusion, as a meal extender, that kind of stuff, um, as a balancing of flavors. Um, and uh, then, of course, don't eat sprayed weeds. Be careful to eat things, you know, know where you're getting these things from, not by the side of the road, um, so that you know what they're capable of. And uh, also very important is just because one part of a weed is edible doesn't mean that all parts of the weed is edible. For example, um, rhubarb, right? People know rhubarb? Yeah. What part of rhubarb is edible? Stock. 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 What part is not edible? Leaf. Right? And, and there's just a little line going between the stalk and the leaf, but we all know it, right? Same is true with a lot of weeds, that you need to know what you're eating and what you cannot eat. Um, so that could be the roots are not um, edible, or the seeds are not edible, or the stems are going to be really stringy, or you know the flower is a little too toxic, that kind of thing. <laughs> 